this transfer jump. I'm just piling up a lot of dirt, which ironically I didn't do on that big lip in the first lip right there, but I did on both landings. And as you can see, this landing looks a lot better than this jump because there's no rocks. And I'm hoping to get the lip to look as good as that, both landings, like the sharp edges. So as you can see in the build laps, I'm using my feet a lot more than the shovel because I brought the wrong shovel today and it has that piece. So if you have that piece on your shovel, like the divot, it's going to be a lot harder to pack in. When you're making any trail jumps and it's jump, after jump and when there's a landing right here and a jump right there and you decide to make a jump on either side of the main line you need to look at the landing of the jump beforehand because right now if somebody hit this jump they couldn't hit the new uh, transfer lip so far because look at how small the landing is or I mean skinny so you're gonna need to make it wider if you do choose to do that. So I'm gonna make it like right here. So people can whip this. So it steers them that way to the jump. And by the way, this trail turned out amazing. This jump is like concrete now. Um, and then the landing needs to get watered a bit more and then dry out, but it's so really hard. And yeah. Okay, so this is the landing now. It's just a little bit wider because I didn't want to spend that much time on it. And maybe soon you can see somebody hit this jump and landing and see if they could even out in this part of the trail to go and hit the transfer. Um, I would definitely hit it if you're wondering why I couldn't but I got a concussion and I cannot until August. So yeah, jump beside the main line jump. You're gonna, and it splits off. You're gonna need to make the trail even and like no borders or separate heights of it because think about it. If you go on this jump or this, you come off this jump, go on to this landing and you choose to go on the transfer you can, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a small lip. So this side is higher than that side. And if you get caught in that, you're probably not gonna get enough speed to hit that jump. Or you're gonna crash on the way to that jump. So yeah, just make sure that your trails are even. So this jump line starts with the roller up there, 
actually it starts with that trail sign but then the roller this like five foot gap right here and it's a little bit bigger so you can go to this part of the trail that's wet so i just watered it down and the big jump which you've definitely seen before if you've seen these videos and this tra small transfer jump you can hit it in two ways technically one way to that landing and one just to flat and it's not set it all the way obviously because i just finished it but it is still pretty hard yeah